بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين The aim of the project of prophecy is to lead the people to perpetual prosperity or falah in this life and the next. Prophets lead by example and good conduct without force or coercion. True leaders show the way for their followers and liberate them from their present state into a higher and better one. Quran described Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as one who leads his followers out of darkness into the light. يُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ There is no comparison between light and darkness, no matter how long darkness may last. وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الظُّلُمَاتُ وَلَا النور. He was also described as one who permits to his followers what is good and prohibits what is bad. يُحِلُّ لَهُمُ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَيُحَرِّمُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْخَبَائِثِ there is no comparison between good and bad, no matter how many are the supporters of the bad. In Surah Al-Ma'idah, we read in verse number 100, قُلْ لَا يَسْتَوِ الْخَبِيثُ وَالطَّيِّبُ وَلَوْ أَعْجَبَكَ كَثْرَةُ الْخَبِيثُ There is no comparison between bad and good things even though the abundance of the bad may dazzle you. Therefore, good and bad are not judged by quantity, but by quality. Here comes the role of taqwa, the light and compass, nur and furqan, created in the hearts of people conscious of Allah and his beautiful names. Taqwa makes the thinking believers convinced and aware of the distinction between good and bad. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ يَا أُولِي الْأَلْبَابِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Be conscious, O you who understand, so you may perpetually prosper. Favoring good over bad without coercion becomes a measure of success. The most prosperous societies are the ones in which governments rely more on internal policing of their citizens, what Ibn Khaldun refers to as al-wazi'u lahu min nafsihi, and rely much less on external force or policing. This can be translated into a mathematical formula. External policing is inversely proportional to internal policing. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.